Bemi Okanola, scene three, take one. I am the founder and creative director of Alunico. Bemi growing up, loud, maybe a little bit dramatic, very creative, very bold. That's how I think my family and friends will describe me. Growing up, there was five of us. I was the youngest of three kids, all girls. It was very, we're all very close knit. So for example, in our house, there was four bedrooms, but my parents made it very, made it a point of duty to make us all share one room because they wanted us to grow up and have a really nice, like close relationship. I would say that we had a very, very good upbringing. So aesthetically growing up, I would say that our house was very, it kind of had like um, elements of the old school 90s transitioning into the millennial time. So in one of the rooms in our house, the downstairs living room, we had those old school sofas that had that old school sort of damask material on it. But then in the living room upstairs, we would have the leather seats because I guess that's what was new and what was trending. There's so many different points in time that I could sort of pinpoint as this is where it started, that's where it started. I would say I've always been creative. For me, it was like when you go to stores, being a black woman, how we're shaped, what you want, the kind of things that we, we, we look for in fashion and shops and clothing. I just always felt there was something missing. I just always felt like the things that I want, it doesn't exist, you're gonna have to make it. So I was always tweaking my thing. So for me, it was like, I guess there's something missing. If I can cater to myself, I guess I can cater to lots of other people as well. I think my younger self would think that I am cool, very persevering, like I just keep on going. I think they'll think I'm quite stubborn. I think they'll think I'm quite fun as well. I like to think I'm quite fun. <laughs> so it's all right. Beg to differ. But, uh, but most of all, I think they'll be proud for the fact that I had my eye on something and I actually pursued it. I guess with all the different things that might make you think, oh, I don't want to do this anymore. It's still pretty good. Yeah. Success for Island New Co looks like a brand that can run without me having to be there all the time. And also a brand that exists past me. Dear Future Baby, it would be good if you could sometimes enjoy the moments that you've worked hard for and enjoy the journey and not just focus on all.